Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. Uh, today we're going to be talking about this motion live and it's getting closer and closer to the release. And so this one, uh, today's uh, focus is going to be on Maya because this uh, plugin is going to be available for Maya, Blender and Daz Studio. So I hope today you get to see the uh, live streaming into Maya. There's the character that I'm going to be testing with. And uh, I'm using Maya 2020. That should be able to work with Maya 2022, which actually I think just came out. So I think by the time you watch this video, it might have already have come out, uh, maybe in the future. But anyway, guys, so today, if you are new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And uh, thank you so much to all my faithful subscribers out there. I truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you to my patrons. All right, guys. So I have my iPhone 10 running here. This motion live is running. Uh, today is just a quick demo again to show how it's actually working as a streaming uh, into Maya Live. So this is really cool because uh, currently most of the uh, the data that we have to bring into Maya is either through FaceCap, you know, or some other you know, pre-recorded mock-up data. But this right here, guys, is going to be streaming live, live into Maya and you'll be able to record. And you can record on the phone and then transfer the data. And you can also record inside of Maya. Okay, so let me go ahead and activate the stream. I'm going to click on stream live. And I'm going to look into the camera now. So you can see, so you can see the face moving nice. The blinking, looking this way, looking that way. Uh, this is really cool, man. <laughs> because, I mean, bringing animation into Maya, just being able to do this in real time is actually time saving, guys. And uh, is, as indie filmmakers, as storytellers, especially those who are Maya users, and I mean, most of us probably t use Blender because it's free. But uh, if you are going the path of Maya, if you're trying to go uh, higher end, like special effects and rigging and all that and animation, then this is going to be a good tool to have uh, and a good option to have, especially as a storyteller, to be able to stream from the iPhone 10 live into Maya and then be able to render. And I know there are some plugins that are coming out where you'll be able to send your uh, scene and then st like stream it straight into the Unreal Engine. So even after you do your animation here in Maya, you'll be able to then stream it into the Unreal Engine. But you could also decide that you wanted to you want to render inside of Maya uh, using Arnold, right? So most of us use Arnold, and then there, are, if you're a Maya user, you normally you use Arnold for sure. Uh, for me, I'm using uh, the Octane render, so I'm looking forward to testing the results in Octane and see how it actually looks, right? So thank you guys for joining me today. Today it wasn't, uh, it's not going to be a long video. It's just a demonstration of uh, the Face Motion 3D app, the one that you see down there, inside of Maya, streaming live <laughs> and being able to actually do pre-recorded So in the app, there you saw, you could record the mockup, the facial mockup, and then uh, send it to Maya. But right now I'm actually using Wi-Fi. So you're able to see the facial mockup from this, uh, from the iPhone 10 uh, going over to Maya on the other side. So thank you so much guys for joining me. Uh, I, I appreciate your support guys. Please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And to all my patrons, I appreciate guys. That, the, again, the reason I do these uh, demonstrations, guys, is uh, so that we get a better idea of what tools are coming out on the in, on the marketplace, uh, so that we can take advantage of them to tell our stories. And I'm always encouraging you to dream big, never give up on your dream, and whatever you can, whatever you can, every single day, find a time to put towards your dream, either a sketch, quick animation. And hopefully now that we are tools like these are coming up, uh, facial animation, because we're getting to a point where I think storytelling is going to be 
are allowed in uh, the meta human range and rain. So being able to animate your character in real time is going to be key. And I think as we're, going, we're trying to render <laughs> as fast as you can, I think we want to be able to take the hard work out of like, especially the tedious nature of animation. And I think this is a good uh, tool to use and an option. It's coming up soon and I'll continue to share as I test it. And let me see if I can actually rotate. Uh, I don't have my tripod. <laughs> I would have to put the phone down to do this. I'm trying to recall this so I could show both the phone and my at the same time. But uh, okay, maybe I can do that another time. But I can zoom in a little closer so you can see the character a little bit better. The eyes that it stopped it stops working when i move away from the phone but the moment i get back to the phone you can see the eyes the eyebrows the deep furrows like the wrinkle maps so this is really good well implemented so again a, a big thank you to kenneth and his team who have been uh, gracious in giving me a chance to test it and do like a better testing and to give you guys an idea so thank you so much i'll uh, see you next time with another insight and quick video. Uh, much love, uh, stay safe, bye for now.